Good day everybody. Today we'll try to fix the monitor MB16AMT. What happened with this monitor? Okay, we noticed that the battery had just 11%. Okay, and so we decided to charge it and we connect the charger for entire night. And what happened? Okay, when we came back and tried to use this monitor again, we noticed that there is green light on the power button. Okay, and we cannot tune this monitor again. Okay, so I will try to show you. Okay, it's not functioning, it's not tuning on. Okay, I called the service and they told me that if I'm going to press these two buttons at the same time and hold it for 10 seconds, it is going to work, okay? I try it and it doesn't work. So if you have situation like this, okay? Um, so maybe this video is going to help you, maybe not, because today I'm planning to use the same method like we use with the smartphones. That's simply I'm going to remove the battery for a few minutes, maybe a few seconds, and put it back and I hope you know the situation will change but probably all of you noticed that this this monitor has no any screws in the back okay if there are no screws it means we are going to open it from the front also I have noticed that this monitor been dropped okay because I see some cracks over here okay so but I believe this is not the issue so what I'm going to do right now, I'll try to open this monitor and remove the battery for a few seconds. And I hope this is going to work. So uh, what I'm going to uh, do, I'll try to remove this plastic frame. Okay, and I hope everything is going to come out. Was, let's see if this is going to work. because it is broken already, so I have I have hole over here. So I'm going to use it and simply simply remove it. See, because it was broken over here, I took it out. Let's see. Let's see this part. Check. This is going to work as well. Okay. I also found online that if the battery got discharged because this green this green LED is informing me that the battery is fully charged so people said that if the battery is going to be discharged okay the system has to work properly but as of today I have no time to wait till this little LED is going to discharge the battery because it is going to take forever, you know, because the battery consumes, I mean, the LED consumes a little power. So it's going to take forever to discharge the battery. That's why I decided to open it. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. See if this is going to fall. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
I never did this before. I have no experience with this kind of monitors. never tried to do so before so I hope this is going to go this way it cannot be so complex so be careful So this is our green LED. So hmm. I hope everything is supposed to just go out. No, it doesn't go like that. So let's see what, what else we can see over here. Uh, I see I see screw over here. Okay, I'm going to again try one more time to hold these two switches the same time for approximately 10 seconds and as you can see it doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. So let's see what we can do, how we can open it. So I can assume maybe we're supposed to uh, remove this, this screw from here. visible screw which I have there is like a G and D it's like a ground maybe I don't know we'll see let's try one more time to leave this up gently be careful This is what we have over here. Hmm, interesting. All right. So this is what you have in this in this uh, monitor, and as you can see, we have two batteries over here. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Let's put this over like this over here. Okay, let me just make sure that I'm not going to lose this the button over here all right and as I said I'll try to disconnect the batteries so I'm going because the probably the wires to the batteries are over here okay because over here we have speakers We have speakers over here. And I didn't need to uh I didn't need to take off the take off the screw from here, so that's why I'm going to put it back. 
all right so now we have our uh, two batteries so i'm going to take off this tape see we have connection over here with the batteries okay and let's see let me put this tape away for a moment somewhere over here okay and we just see how this connector is connected over here i just leave this a little bit up Okay, and as you can see, as you can see, because I disconnect the battery, my LED shuts down, right? See, my green LED is off. Okay, this is my green LED. Okay, I don't supposed to remove entire connector, just I removed, you know, uh, one side. And all I'll try to do one more time, I'll try to put this back. And we'll see what will happen. Okay, I put this back. And as you can see, the LED is off. Okay, the LED is off. So let me just... So I assume the monitor is off. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay, I'll try to. Try to press both of them at the same time just to see. See? I got 11%. I don't know why it shows just 11%. Okay, the battery is theoretically fully charged. Okay, so I don't know why why it shows like that. But what I'm going to do right now, this is the best what I can do at this moment. I'm going to put this tape back. Okay. I'm going to put this tape back. Next, I'm going to simply uh, put this monitor back into it shows this please notice that I connected the power supply okay and and basically something something start to work okay so let's say this is off this is on Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'll try to connect the computer. Try to connect the computer to this monitor and see if this is going to work. So uh, this time we connect the computer and let's see if something is going to appear on it. So I'm going to leave this uh, computer for some time in order to get fully charged and we will uh, see what will happen later on, okay? Okay guys, as you can see, uh, after disconnecting the battery, everything got back to normal, okay? I charged, charged the battery, okay? And just please notice that not every single wire is going to work, okay? Uh, this is the wire which is only for charging. So if there is no proper connection with the computer, okay, uh, the system is not going to work. So make sure that uh, your wire is going to also uh, carry the data. Okay, so this one is just for power. So when I connect that wire to the computer and to the monitor, it didn't uh, communicate. 
but when I connect the computer which has more pins, okay, over here, more terminals inside, okay, uh, the system start to communicate. So in order to uh, fix the issue with the uh, uh, green uh, light over here, green um, LED, okay, you're supposed to simply uh, disassemble the monitor and disconnect the battery wait a few seconds and connect the battery back and assemble everything back and everything is going to work fine so i'm going to this i'm going to turn this off and i'm going to disconnect the computer okay we get the the information okay the, the green light informs me that the battery is fully charged so i'm going to put this button on like this and let me take this broken piece first okay gently push this in I believe this has to go first has to go first. I have to close this first. Okay, and now it has to go in. Okay, see? Now this side. Piece. Be gentle, it's very easy to damage it. almost like brand new okay and what we are going to do one more time we're going to just check I like to check everything twice before I'm going to say that is let's see okay as you can see it is working so I hope I help you okay and if you didn't subscribe yet please do this right now and thank you very much i will see you next time